Well, first of all, it, it does sound like he's going to make a good recovery, but he does have a skull fracture, which is not an, an, an easy injury uh, to get over. No, it's a terrible attack. And uh, it's probably not surprising that this intruder was yelling, uh, where's Nancy? He apparently wanted to tie up uh, her husband until she got home. Uh, the, the specter of January 6 hangs over uh, these elections. And Nancy Pelosi was the person that the insurrectionists were hunting when they invaded the Capitol. And the imagery from that event and the footage that we have of uh, Speaker Pelosi talking with Vice President Pence, who also was a, a target with the, the insurrectionists chanting, hang Mike Pence. And she was concerned about his health and, were, and his safety and worried about him. And the two of them wanted the accounting, the official certification of the election to go forward. They both had their eye on the prize, and that was saving the Republicans, saving uh, democracy. So I, I want to point out that this is not an isolated incident, which has happened at the Pelosi home. This is the same week where uh, some uh, men have been uh, uh, convicted of trying to murder the governor of, of, of Michigan. Uh, the election office of Katie Hobbs, who's uh, running for governor in Arizona, was uh, was broken broken into, and the trial of uh, five Proud Boys. Uh, one uh, just got a conviction of seven and a half years for dragging a a, a police officer into the mob and watching him uh, get pummeled. So um, we are approaching the election. It's very only days away, really. And I think a lot of people in public life are scared. The uh, election workers who are charged with monitoring the election sites, they're being harassed, and uh, they fear for their safety and, and their lives. I mean, this is, this is a terrible time in, in our country, and it is all the product of a president who refused to accept that he lost an election and has perpetrated a big lie where many millions of people in this country believe that he somehow had uh, the rightful second presidential term taken from him. And uh, he has sent signals, uh, we remember them from the debates, you know, stand by or stand back. Uh, he's given signals basically uh, that people in this country who believe the big lie take as permission to participate in political violence. So it's a very dangerous time.